Welcome everybody to FTL, Faster Than Light. I am HJ Tenchi, and this will be a new LP. Uh, it's a game that came out recently on Steam for, I believe, $10. I highly recommend it. This will be the first time I've actually played it. I played the tutorial, and I've watched a few videos of people play it. So I think I have a general grasp on what to do, and I will try and fill you in on the, uh, as we learn. So here is our ship. This is going to be like a ship battle collection survival randomness game so with my crazy amount of luck we should be doing okay increase scrap rewards and easier enemy generation standard okay we'll stick on standard let's rename the ship the sub love yes and we don't have any other ships i believe we can unlock these by doing different things i want to i want to unlock the enterprise i mean the federation cruiser Layout type B, type A. Okay, we can't do anything about that yet. So that's what it's going to look like. Kind of a basic art style. I really like it. If you've watched my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of 2D and sprite-driven games. Um, so we have humans. They have no exceptional traits and no crew skills yet. As they work on different parts of the ship, um, I believe they'll actually get um, bonuses. So we'll start out with HJ Tenji. Sure, why not? And we will do uh, Billy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This will be Sergeant Billy. Where's my mouse? Uh, there it is. <laughs> and Sem. No. Um, uh, Umzok. <laughs> You're in for the ride, buddy. So anyways, um, this is going to be our ship. And here are our different systems. So we have our piloting system. This will allow us to do evasion if we upgrade them. Uh, we can upgrade them by scrap. Scrap is all the currency and our experience points, pretty much, or skill points. Uh, door systems, we can get blast doors, improve blast doors, which I believe impede fire spread and intruder movement. Uh, sensors, we eventually can learn. Um, we can see inside enemies' interiors and stuff like that. We'll have the med bay, which will heal our units, uh, our people up. Our oxygen, which looks like it refills faster. Uh, so if this goes out, we'll lose oxygen to the place, and we actually need to um, repair that, otherwise everybody suffocates. Shields for more shields. A engines, which can add dodging, and that powers up our FTL drive a little bit faster, so we can make jumps. So if we're, we're just getting wrecked in a battle, uh, we can jump away. I guess is the best way of doing it. And then weapons control. We can uh, pick up more weapons, power up more weapons at the same time, etc. So we're going to start out with an Artemis rocket launcher. You can see the stats in the top right. And then also a burst laser Mark II. These are just literally the very beginning things. So that's a lot of stuff to take in. So how about we just jump into the game and I'll show you. All right, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip, death. <laughs> Remember, losing is part of the fun. No, I'm serious. All right, thanks, game. So, we're going to start in our first area. Our, we can unpause it. And we're, since there's nothing here, we'll be able to jump immediately. Here's our reserve power. So this will take two power and then one power, which we can allocate here to our empty powers. And we can only have up to three powers of weapons until we upgrade it. So here, once again, we can use scrap up here to upgrade our different systems. Uh, we can take a look at our crew, which I believe we can have up to eight. Um, probably not all at the same time, though and our different cargo and augmentations. Here are our drone controls. If we ever pick up a drone, uh, we can have attack drones, defense drones, repair drones. These are pretty cool. Um, missiles, we only have a certain amount of missiles. So think of these as like bombs in uh, Binding of Isaac. And then we also have the amount of fuel. Every time we move to a new room or a new sector, it's going to take up fuel. So this is gonna be in a lot of ways like Binding of Isaac and yet not like Binding of Isaac. So I don't know why those are blue. Oh, maybe because it's a nebula. So we're starting out here, and we got to eventually get to here by jumping through the different ones. Each one will take a fuel, and eventually the rebels will start coming at us. And if we're too far behind, they'll swallow us up, and we'll get in harder and harder fights. So let's just start by going up here. So one fuel is taken away. 
And debris from a forgotten battle still orbits the gas giant in this system. Some of it still might be useful. So we picked up three extra fuel, one drone part, and 17 scrap, which is our currency and XP. So just for picking. And this is the random element of what some people are calling a very roguelike game. Although I don't know if it's a roguelike game like Binding of Isaac, which once again isn't. It's kind of a hybrid roguelike. Um, it does have some similar difficulties, randomness, and luck involved on top of the skill. Okay. Your beacon has been... Uh, this beacon has been built for a nearby civilian space station. No one hails your ship. Okay. So, nothing here again. So, a very easy start. Once again, taking away fuel. Okay. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to small refueling outposts. The weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Oh, we gotta defend the outpost. Hell yeah. Okay, the rebels respond to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet! They move in to engage. Okay, so, once again, I'll kind of point over this. This is going to be their whole, their overall health. Uh, they're a rebel fighter with a hostile relationship to us, and they have one shield. So they can deflect one hit before taking hull or system damage. Uh, once again, here are their different systems. Oxygen, navigation, shields, engine, weapons, and possibly a teleport? They might be able to teleport people on. If that's true, that's a rough start. Uh, they'll teleport people on and they'll attack me, which is annoying. Anyways, um, we'll want to attack different things. If I attack their weapons, they'll, weapons will go down. They can't do anything until they repair them. If we attack the O2, uh, they'll start starving of oxygen and then shields. So, once again, first time playing. So, let's see what we want to do. Okay, let's pause it immediately. Let's get our guys to our different spots. HJ Tenchi, although I could, it can also highlight multiple people or just highlight that. Let's get. Uh, we can increase our dodge chance if we have someone in the engine room. I don't think we want to do that though. So let's. Billy, you can work shields. So we'll right click to move him there. Umzok, how about. You know what? Tenchi, I'll move in here. Umzok, you move in here. Oh, intruders! Uh, let's let's go mess these guys up. So we'll move all three of them in there. We will power up our weapons and let them charge up. You can see the charge meter here. And then once they're charged up, we will attack. Oh, oh, guys, go in here. And then you'll see them fighting. They'll take some damage, but we should be okay. When we're taking damage here. Any number like that is going to be whole damage. Uh, so we don't want to take that. And then see, it looks like our. Um, engines, our uh, navigations, controls are being screwed up and so our evade is down. Okay, Artemis missile! Let's blow these little bastards out of the wall. Boom! So now their engines, or their weapons are down. Okay, you guys here. Umzok, you can go to weapons. Billy, go to shields. No, I'm going to weapons. Umzok, you go to shields. Billy, you dumb, dumb idiot, go in there and repair that. So this is the general idea of the game. When they're in there uh, manning an area, you'll see these these light up. Instead of silhouettes, they'll be white. And by manning them, we're reducing the charge time of our weapons. Let's attack their shields. See, one more damage and we should be down. I'm not going to use another missile because they are finite amount. But as soon as... Oops. Boom! So not too bad of a fight. We took one whole damage. We kicked some butt. We got fuel, missiles, and scrap. And uh, the Alpus hails us. The pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. I don't know why that's the accent there, but four fuels, nice, and more, um, more love. Okay, you know what? How about we increase power one? So now we have an extra power, and we'll add that to our evade. So now our evade went from ten to fifteen percent. So hey, why not? All right, everybody seems to be healed. Oh, not healed up, but Billy, let's go into the med bay. So we can't jump because there's no pilot. He's going to heal up. Our systems are back online. We'll close our doors. We can open and close our doors by this. Also, these are subsystems too. Um, without having a pilot in here, you can't do evade, so watch my evade drop. And I don't know if, if I move another guy in, will it... So I don't know if you can stack multiple people in there for even more upgrades, or if it's just one person. Or maybe certain places you can have multiple. Uh, beside the point. So, how about we jump... Okay, see now, here's the Rebel Fleet coming in. Stay away from them. So we'll jump again. So far, so good. Uh, I... 
Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you, Stay out of this, or you'll be next! Concentrate fire on... Attack the pirate? Yes! So he's got a hole that. He looks like a crab. So we're going to attack Zoidberg here. You ask for it! They'll pull away from the planet and move into engage. And we get awesome music. Charging up our stuff. Crew's looking okay. Uh, you know what? Let's attack there and then attack there. Oh, no, our missile missed. Oh, he's got beams. Oh, he's messing up our messed up our uh, weapons. Crap. So he, because of that, they've knocked out part of the... Okay, let's let's turn this off and turn that. Okay, we got them both on. He repaired it. Good job, Umzok. Or Tenchi. Oh, good job, Tenchi, you piece of crap. Oh, our shields are down. Shields are back up. Everything on the missiles. Woohoo! Okay, we can let them go. All right, we give up. We're terrible at this pirating thing anyway. And we can take missiles and drone parts. You know what? Piracy can never be forgiven. Wow, explodies. Uh, so that actually wasn't the best because we lost some of those missiles. Once again, randomness and stuff like that. Whoa! With the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done, but they'll just be another ship looking to profit from our isolation soon enough. Sorry, we can't give you more. Uh, so we didn't really get a whole lot of missiles out of that, but that, you know, overall I think that worked out. And, uh, you know what? Let's... Shields. Yeah, buddy. Now we have multiple shields up, so now we'll need two more points in our various areas to be able to upgrade. So we can turn off our med bay for now. Maybe turn off one of that, and then we'll have double shields. Yeah! So, there we go. I'm feeling good about this so far. Uh, stores can pop up randomly. Quests. This will be like um, rebel ships attacking us, and this will be like, I think, like, I don't know if you immediately die or if it's just like really hard fights. So we want to always stay above that. Stay in front of the Dahaka. <laughs> you arrive to find a number of ships convening around a station. You tune into the un un you tune in to their unencrypted communication channel and overhear half of their conversation. Seems that they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. Yeah, let's offer our services. They briefly scan your ship, inform you that you're not properly equipped for this type of mission. All right. Well, screw you guys. Distress signal. Go. We must save the world. And the world, I mean the galaxy. Detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. D of course we're going to intervene. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage our ship. Hell yeah, we're the bigger threat. We're awesome. We're a boss. So we will... Let's auto-fire. Toggle to activate, deactivate, uh, weapons automatically firing. I don't think I want to do that, because I don't want to always waste my missiles. And since this doesn't seem like a big threat, how about we just... You know what, let's, we'll do you, then you. I guess we'll use one, we'll use one rocket. You know what, no. We have, we have, oh wait, we already used it. We're, we're good, we're good with this, I think. Okay, we'll attack, because we have two shields, they're not, oh! Well, screw you, buddy. So our burst laser fires three lasers for one damage each. Okay, this should be enough to kill him. Unfortunately, the rocket got through, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, let's We picked up missiles, drones, scraps, and the outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed nonstop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Okay, so we got some more scrap and stuff like that. Uh, you, okay, I, I Tenchi's in there. Umzok, let's get you repairing some stuff. Can you repair too? Nice, we need a double repair. Tenchi, you slacker, stop getting hurt. Taking a missile on the chin and he's complaining. <laughs> what a baby. Okay, Billy, Umzok, go back in there. And let's see, is he gaining crew? Okay, see, look, we're gaining uh, some points, which you can see over here. I'm pointing to it on the screen, but that's kind of dumb. But as we use them, it looks like they'll get better at certain areas, which is really cool. And we want to, let's do, we need one more there. So let's do ship power one. So now we can increase that and turn on that. So now we can turn on everything and be golden. And we can always turn off maybe one of the engines and back on the med bay if that's what's needed. And which needs to be on if we're gonna heal. Okay, herp derp. 
Okay, cool. I'm having fun so far. Distress signal. What do we got here? What do we got here? Alright, you arrived to find a ship floating among some debris. Hello, our impulse drives are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? Uh, we got 20. Sure, why not? Let's give them some fuel. Thank you so much. We don't have much to offer, but have a look at the sector scans we took. Your map is updated. Cool. Ooh, a store. We don't really have any money, though. What is that? Possible ship detected. We're gonna want to be careful. We'll jump to this. Sh There's a possibility of something happening here. There's a possibility of nothing. A ship refueling station is at the beacon. We can purchase fuel here. Uh... Sure, let's pick up some extra fuel, just in case we don't have any issues. And we'll actually kind of jump around a little bit before the Rebels get to us to see if we can pick up some more stuff. Your arrival is greeted by numerous computer alerts. The nearby automated Rebel Scout has deployed a virus and disrupted your shield system. Oh, crap. Hopefully it won't cause further problems before you can destroy it. Oh, shit. Um, he doesn't have any shields, though. Attack. You know what? Actually, let's take the Artemis off. We don't need that. We still have shields, though, luckily, because of our double our double shields that we've upgraded. Oh, uh, shit, we need oxygen is low. Go, go, go. There we go. So as you can see, our oxygen is slowly lowering down, but we're going to fix it in time and pick up some awesome stuff. Good job, guys. Tenchi and Umzok, unstoppable team of awesome. And our oxygen going back up. Evade is good. Uh, let's just exit. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm calling it a little close. Jump. And next sector. So this is like the second floor of Binding of Isaac. We're dropping down. We're going to make it a little harder. So we can go to the pirate controlled sector or the NG controlled sector. How about let's go to the NG. I think these are like uh, robotic versions of people. So we've even arrived in an NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds. The Mantis are like praying Mantis looking guys I believe. But you should be able to stock up your, for your journey. Okay, so distress signal is here. Let's go immediately to that. And then every time you drop to a new quote-unquote floor, the Rebels will be reset. So it's not like they're right on my butt since I called it a little close last time. We arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. Must be illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. We can dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks or destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. Let's dislodge the ship by shooting the rock. No. Yeah, why not? Whoa! You take a few careful shots, but you expose a mineral patch in the rock that reacts violently with your weapon. A shockwave forces you back as debris pelts against your hull. When you regain control, you find that you're not much left of the ship. Okay, so they got blown up, and we took actually a good amount of damage, so that sucks butt. Should've just blown up the pirates. Alright, an NG ship is in the vicinity. Seeing, your jump in, uh, is, seeing you jump in, armed to the teeth, immediately broadcast its surrender. Subject goal. Wealth. NG motivation. Survival. Transfer of goods acceptable. Yeah. I'm friendly. The NGs are satisfied with your explanation. Beneficial. Subject goal. Long, long journey. Remains compatible with transfer of goods from NG. They send over the great, their gear willingly, and you feel better for it. That's a lot of scrap, actually. Cool. I really don't feel like we need to upgrade anything still. So we'll just jump on out. Maybe we can find a store to get something useful. Upgrading our shields would be nice too. Arrive at a Zoltan Research Facility, another race that I'm not aware of. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to status sleep, and our status sleep, and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Sure, let's participate in their study. As soon as you dock, pirates burst on board and a hostile ship appears on the radar. You hear the Zoltans yell in the distance, we're being held hostage! Whoa, okay, uh, you guys, Ooh, shit, man. There's a lot of them. Alright, go in there. Kick some ass. Upgrade our... Turn on the Artemis. Okay, let's turn off that. Turn on medbay so we can fight with that. Uh... Oh, shit. They took out my weapon systems. Nope. Kick their ass! Kick their ass! Actually, shields... Okay, I think we're doing okay. Doing some hole damage on him. 
Killing their guys. Let's attack their weapons. Come on, Billy. Okay. Go in there. Repair. Uh, do, 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 do. Not enough system power. Go in there. Go in there. Do, do, do. Shields. Go. Artemis laser. Shoot. Boom. <coughs> okay. Well, we're a little worse for wear for that. Thank you for rescuing us. They held us hostage to ambush us unsuspecting passerbys. Please take this. Ooh, anti-personnel drone. We don't have a drone system, so I don't think we can use that yet, but that's pretty cool. So if we get boarded, we can uh, explodey peoples. So is everybody back? No. Okay, so let's move everybody in here and get them healed up. Alright, Umzok, back to your quarters, sir. Tenchi, back on weapons. And Billy. Alright. Um, power that back up. Not enough power. Okay, so let's turn. You know what? Let's... No, that's okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's go here. So our hole's a little damaged. The uh, way we'd be able to repair that would be to find a shi uh, store. ship store. Federation sympathizers contact you as you arrive. We know your mission should be secret, so don't ask how we know about it. Take this schematic. Okay, so we got an anti-ship drone, Mark 1, and some scrap. So these are really cool. These, um, you click a drone, and it sends them out, and he just randomly attacks constantly. So that's really cool. Well, we can upgrade these, huh? Blast doors? Nah, I don't care about that. Allows the ship to make FTL jumps and dodge when piloted. Upgrades. Upgrading adds autopilot that allows some evasion even with the autopilot. That's kind of cool. Um, nah, I don't really care about that. Uh, more weapons, more oxygen. Dodge a little bit better would probably be kind of beneficial. One. We'll do one more. So we get an extra 5% dodge, I believe. Oh, that we now need to put points into. So fine. There we go. So, yeah, it's probably not the best, but we'll do it. 20% chance to dodge. A fifth of their chance uh, is not too bad. Arrived at a smoldering NG research station. It's a distress call unanswered. Attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone left alive or else something of value left on board. Let's board the station. We send an away team, hopefully with no red shirts, because they'll probably die. But there's nothing save for the acidic stench of burnt NG parts. Okay, so Jack and Squat. Store. Yeah, let's go to a store. An NG ship hails. Every our engine upgrades necessary for to travel home. Sell of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Okay, so we can buy drone parts. We can buy fuel and missiles. We can fix our hole. Let's do that. Uh, we can buy a cloaking machine, a drone control. We actually probably want to get that. What are these? Repairs your hole every time you collect scrap, but reduces scrap collected by 15%. That's kind of cool. Boost the shield's shield recharge rate by 15%. That's pretty awesome. And non-destroyed drones will be retrieved when jumping, allowing their parts to be used. Wow, that's pretty good. But we need a drone control first. Can we sell this? Let's sell the anti-personnel one, because I don't really care about... My guy should be able to be fine attacking people. Let's get a 80 for a drone control. Damn. I don't really want to sell anything else. Oh well. Um, let's buy some fuel, I guess, just in case. And yeah, that's that should be good. Cool. So we... Ooh, another store, huh? Let's go to the other store. See if there's anything awesome here. Uh, message arrives. Your scrap, ours. Our weapons for you. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an anti trader looking to trade. <laughs> Ooh, anti bio beams. This terrifying beam does no physical damage but rips through organic material, dealing heavy damage to crew members. Uh, beam damage is reduced by one for every shield it passes through, which allows for partial shield piercing. Uh, I don't really care about killing the people so much. Targeting large empty sections of hole. Don't really have the money for that drone control. So these these stay the same no matter what. It doesn't get cheaper depending on the place you go to. So that kind of sucks. All right. Um, head over to the 
exit. You ride to the long range beacon when the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Oh wait, a ship hails us! Good sir, it seems you're having some troubles with the rebels. I'd like to help you, but I can't afford the upkeep required on this hunk of junk I'm flying. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. Let's see, we can hire a mercenary to delay the rebels. Don't really care about that. To scout the sector, don't care about that. We can fight the ship. No needs of his services. Uh, I feel like it's a dick move, but I kind of want to fight him. Let's fight him. Mercenaries are worse than rebels. The only honorable course is to engage the mercenaries in battle. Uh, sure. Okay, let's all focus on their shields. Woo! Oh, I was going to say, our miss chance is already uh, coming in handy. Let's work on the... Nice, there's our mischance. Uh, you have made your point, we are beaten. Take this and leave us to our shame. You know what, let's not be a complete dick. We already did explode them. Don't feel like that's necessary. Alright, we'll get uh, Umzak and Tenchi to repair the door controls. So that was, that was worth it. We used one missile to pick up some stuff. Okay, back to your post, gentlemen. Still kind of feel like a dick attacking him, <laughs> but yeah, whatever. The game will kick my ass eventually. So you find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Attempt to download the ship's data stores, or don't risk activating and just strip the ship for any useful scrap. Just download stuff. You accidentally reactivate it. What do you do? Its weapons and shields immediately go online. Prepare for a fight. Oh, hey, it's cloaked. So we can't do anything right now while it's cloaked, and our systems won't charge because supposedly it's like we haven't seen it yet. So that's a real pain in the ass. So it's going to get a first shot, but we do have um, multiple shields and a good miss chance. So that's a plus. You know what? I'm just going to... Excuse my burst laser. I'm going to kind of conserve a little bit of our awesome, awesome Artemis missiles. Man, we are... This is going really well. <laughs> seen a lot of people play this and it doesn't go so well, so... I'm glad it's going well for our first time. And... EXPLODES! Yes, you will die. Okay, so we picked up lots of scrap, fuel, and missiles. Definitely worth it. Um... Can we get more shields? 100 for 3 shield bars, that's so tempting. Uh, we would need to also upgrade power bars too, but... You know what, maybe that's something we'll want to go towards. We can also eventually save it up for a store, which will allow us to buy uh, the drone controls and other stuff like that. We over here, Mantis Com Chatter. Agreed, next ship is your uh, next ship is your turn. Good hunting. They don't see you yet. Attack, of course. Uh oh shit. Go in attack! Let's get you over here on the Oof. Oh man, Umzok, run away! Let's get that. Oof, man. It's a good thing we took out their sh uh, stuff. You know what? We're attacking full on. Okay, go back in, attack! Okay, we took out the ship. It's exploded them. The ship explodes. We got a pike beam. I don't even know what that is. Lots of scrap. Now, okay, now we're kicking ass. Kicking ass! Umzok's getting his vengeance. Oof! Oof! That was close. We almost lost Tenji. That's a bad thing, you guys. Come on. Be nice. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get our sensors back up. Good job, guys. And heal everybody up. Uh, Billy, you're actually fine. You came out of that unscathed. And let's see how our crew's doing with some of our upgrades on them. Okay, well, actually, Billy's doing pretty damn well. Not enough power. You know what? Let's put up some more power just in case. Now we can have everything on. And we have this pike beam. What is this? Pike beam. 
Uh, can cut across entire ships, assuming there's no shield to stop it. Beam damage reduced by one for every shield it passes through. Required power two, charge time 16 seconds damage per room hit. Okay, so what we'll want to do, let's charge up 85 more system power. I don't think we want to do that. We could always do... We'll deactivate the Artemis. Not enough system power. Two, two. Okay, so we need one more weapons power. Not enough power there now. Okay, so ship. There we go. So now we can have everything online. We'll have the Artemis off, but I think that's okay. Because we'll take down the laser, or we'll take down... Switch these around. We'll take down the shields with this, and then we'll explodey stuff on them with the pike beam. Okay, cool. Let's jump to the exit before the rebels catch us. I think we've done plenty here. And we will peace out to the next sector. Uh, let's go to the NG controlled sector. It's a civilian, it's less hostile. And uh, I believe the first ship you can unlock that's new is an NG ship. We've arrived in the NG space. This Mantis has been threatening the NG core worlds. We should be able to stock up for our journey. So pretty much it's just like you're in a... Ooh, distress signal. I think we can sell the drone parts. Oh, Chess Signal originates at a small NG ship under attack by a rebel fighter, but when they see Federation markings, they turn to attack. Okay, so... Whoops, not that. Not enough system power. Uh, No, you off, you on. I forgot I changed my hotkeys. Uh, so, burnt laser, or burst laser uh, shields. Pike beam. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see if that works. So burst laser. Take down the shields. Ooh, we are missing a lot. Take down the shields. Okay, there we go. Now pike beam. Ah, oh, damn, before the shields get up. Damn, okay. I might actually have to turn on the Artemis. Or just let the pike beam... Okay, this is what we'll do. Get a burst laser. Shoot, and then beam him. Boom! There we go. Look, oh man, look how much damage. Check out their O2, their med bay, everything. So this is, this is how we're going to do it, I think, now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Missiles, scraps, drone parts. And, uh... They're... Okay, so... I guess we can... Yeah, let's see if we give them scrap, what they'll do. Need equals filled, but you take it for gratitude. They take the next jump on the long journey home. Okay, so they can give us squat for that. Assholes. <laughs> Nonetheless, that's okay. We, we're, we're kicking some butt right now, so... I don't feel so bad. We'll pick up some more fuel. Why not? So I think our big thing right now would be running out of fuel, if anything, because we're doing pretty well with our weapons and stuff. An energy ship is in the vicinity. Uh, once again, they possibly want to trade. Explain that are friendly. They set off without saying, God, we should have accepted their surrender. Asses. So these guys are not being overly friendly with us. That's up with the warning signals. You're being targeted by a nearby ship. It's a slug light cruiser. Prepare to fight. Okay, so what do we want to attack first? Let's do laser to take out their shields first. And then we'll see if we can pike beam them before they get back up. That should go through all these. There we go. Their shields are down a little bit. And boom! Pike beam! Oh, yeah. Let's take out their weapons next. Uh, we will not accept surrender. So I just don't really want any of that. Boom! Man, we are kicking some ass. Nice, that worked out pretty well. And we will continue to jump. 
trying to just barely stay ahead of our rebels, but being able to catch as much stuff as possible too. Um, our weapon systems are malfunctioning and we're too afraid of pirates to travel home. Can you escort us? Yeah, sure, we can spend two of that. Add a quest marker to our map. Great, thanks. Uh, take this bit of fuel as a down payment. We'll be one step behind you following your jump signatures. Don't take any risks now, do we? Ooh, a quest. So let's make our way to the quest for helping them. We got some fuel and got a quest. Um, I don't want drones. Sorry, buddy. Stress signal. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the quest and back to the thing in time. Uh, let's see. You follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, help! Our shields are down and I don't know how much longer we can last. Let's try and shield them. Try our best, but one stray rock hits a key structure in their ship. It breaks apart in front of your eyes. You salvage what you can before leaving and try not to think about the lost crew. That sucks. Let's hit the quest. We might even be able to go to the store, too. That'd be awesome. You escort the ship to the requested beacon. Much to your dismay, you are ambushed by a rebel ship. You walk right into their tarp. It's a tarp! Alright, you know what? You guys can tarp this. What is that? Drone control. Oh, they have drones. What does that do? I don't know what that does. Shoots down missiles and asteroids. <laughs> We're not using missiles. Yes, silly McGee. Take out their ships. Take out their uh, shields. Whatever it is. Take out their salads. Boom. Oh, nice. I see shields down. Nope. Damn it. That would have been a nice hit. They're not even piercing our uh, shields. So nice. So glad we got those ship upgrades, or the shield upgrades, salad upgrades. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> no one ever knows what I'm saying. Boom! Oh, it's trying to escape. Uh, shoot, it's engines. Ha! Four fuel, four missiles, 17 scrap. We will not accept. Surrender. Because we're assholes. Let's hope they can't jump before that. That would suck. Uh, I don't think it's as good, but that's okay. Whatever. Jump. Store. Should be able to get back to our exit in time. And everything worked out. And you can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive at this beacon are selling equipment for just that. <sighs> Drone control. Still don't have enough, huh? Damn. You know what? Let's... Let's get a little crazy here. Let's sell our Artemis. I know people are probably freaking out about that. Adds additional info of nearby beacons on the star map. Don't really care. Could repair. But let's buy the drone control. And repair. And let's buy a couple more drones. Yeah, or one more drone. Okay, so. Ship. Equipment. I don't want to see. System repair drones. Can I sell that? I don't really care about that. 15. I guess we'll hold on to it just in case. Okay, so we need two... Need two power... Okay, so we got two power and drones. So we need to get 50... 50 more scrap to get... Our anti-ship drone going. Okay... We can sell drone parts for scraps. No, because we just picked up drones and I want to use those. All right, so we're now on our third floor, uh, rebel controlled sector. God, we're doing really well, I think. The sector was bustling with activities just a few years ago. Now, more than half of the jump beacons have been destroyed. Many settlements have been abandoned and the rebels patrol constantly. Bring it on. A store we can't go to, really. Oh, actually, this is a nebula, which I think causes Nearest to glance out the windows, but the only thing to greet you is more clouds and silence. Alright, let's get out of here because I think sensors will not function, but the rebel fleet will advance more slowly towards you. Okay, so sensors don't work. Could care less about that, so we can't see inside, really. These guys aren't even in their respective area. I wonder how long they've been sitting there. Get back to work. I don't care about my sensors not working, to be honest. And I guess going through the nebula, I'll be able to explore more areas. So if that's all it is, that's no biggie. Uh, there appears to be a number of small stations nearby. Before you have time to scan them, warnings go off. A rebel teleporter was used in one of the stations. Oh, God, we've been boarded. Uh, 
Where are they? Shit, they're in the engine room. Get them, guys! Oh, shit, there's four of them. That might not be good. Alright, if he starts getting a little hectic, I'll... Vominos. Okay, just get out of there! Heal up, guys! It's okay, the engines are... The problem is, is that one that popped up, my hole's gonna take damage because of that, but... Can't do too much about that. Shit, oxygen's down is really bad, actually. So now we're gonna start suffocating. Eventually. Tenchi, you cannot fight! <laughs> that anti-personnel drone sounds pretty good right now, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, they're coming in the med bay, so I'll get to heal, and they won't. We, we got this. We immediately need to go in and fix our oxygen. Shoot him, shoot him! Okay, go in there, you go in there. Fix stuff. Good job, guys! Good job, guys! O2 fixed. Should let's go into the engine room because I'd rather our uh, the we'll get everybody fixing stuff all at once, so that way um, they can get the most experience out of all this. It's a good thing we had this on too, I guess. Do we not get anything for that? That sucks. I guess we could always turn off our med bay and then only need one power for the drones. So maybe we'll do that. Billy back there. Umzok back to the shields. Tenchi to the weapons. And oxygen has stayed pretty good. And we're ready to go. Let's stay once again in the nebula. The rebels aren't even on the map yet, which is nice. Pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it is a smuggler. Trying to say, oh, Han Solo, you are going down. Okay, turn on everything. Uh, we will burst laser, as always, their shields. No, let's, let's just turn off the medbay. We don't really need that on. Okay, so the pipe beam can't even really penetrate shields. Shields, Umzok, repair them. Ooh. Ah, oh, damn it, they got them back up in time. All right. First laser. Get the shields. Ah, damn it. Our O2's down. Shit. Tenchi. Go. You. Go. Wow. We are getting rocked right now. Shit. Alright, there we go. There we go. Ah, damn it. Their shields are really strong. Oh, wow. We might die. Okay, you go there. There we go. That that was a big hit. Okay, O2, go back. Go there. Wow, no. Man, they're dead. They they're shooting a bunch of lasers. Okay, well, that was our first uh first attempt. The sub love Got to Sector 4. Ships defeated. Jump survived. Billy was the man. Umzok, you're the man of my my dreams. I, I don't I don't know where I'm going with that. But thank you everyone very much for watching. And uh, if you like the series, I'll continue it. I uh, hope you enjoy it. It seemed like a lot of fun. It seemed like we were doing really good there for a bit. Maybe we should have those Artemis missiles going too. Anyways, have a good day everyone. See ya!